Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a snow effect like this. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create a snow effect here in effect house. The first thing we have to do is to add a particle object to our scene. For this, we go to our scene panel and then we click on add object. Then we go all the way down to visual effects and here we can add the basic particles. When we click on it, Effect House will automatically create this particle system in the middle of our screen. So this almost looks like snow, but we have to tweak them a little bit that they look more real. So for this, we go to our visual scripting panel. As you can see now, Effect House has automatically created a new tab, the visual effects editor tab next to the visual scripting tab. So you can switch between those both now. So and here at the visual effects editor, we can see there is a group of nodes which is manipulating our particle system. And here we will add some new blocks to it to change the gravity, the color and the size of our particles. After we have done this, then we move up the particle system to the top that it snows from the top to the bottom. So let's do this. To add some properties here, we can go to our update block at this, yeah, visual effects chain and here we can click on add block. The first thing we will add is some gravity. For this we go down to force and here we can click on add gravity. And now you can already see that the particles are falling down from the point where they are emitting. Um, at the moment the gravity is set to y minus 10 but for my opinion, those particles are moving too fast, they can move a little slower. So we will lower the gravity from minus 10 to minus 5. So now the particles are more yeah, flowing on the screen. The next thing we will do is to change the color of those particles because at the moment I think they are too white. <laughs> So we will make them more transparent. So again, go to the update and add a new block. Here, just search for color. And here you can um, click on set color, but make sure that you set the RGBA because the A is important to change also the opacity of our particles. So when we have done this, we can click on the color property. And here we can just lower the opacity. I will lower it to yeah, let's say yeah, about 70%. Yeah, this looks good to me. Um, yeah, now they are changed to 70%. And now we will also change the size of our particles. For this, we also add a new block. And here we will search for set size. So at the moment, all the particles are set to 111. And I think to, that they look better, I will set x to 0.5, y also to 0.5 and set of course also to 0.5. So now they are emitting and now we can change the position of our particle system um, more upwards. So we go to our scene panel again, to our basic particles, select them, go to the right hand side and set the position to let's say y20 a little bit more to y24 and now they are meeting here in the middle of our screen but at the moment there are not so many particles on the screen so the first thing we will do is that we duplicate this um yeah particle system because at the moment they are just emitting in the middle of the screen and we will duplicate them twice. So we have also one on the left edge and also one on the right edge of our screen. So we go to the left hand side to our scene panel, then right click here and then click on duplicate. Select this particle system, the, the new one, then go to the right hand side and set the X posi position to minus 10. Now we have a second emitter here. Then go again to the left hand side or again duplicate this particle system, select it, the basic particles too, go to the right hand side and here set the X to let's say um, plus 
10. Now we have a second particle system on the right hand side. Now we can play around with the settings of those particle systems. Um, for example, we can set our spawn rate. When you want more particles on the screen, um, go to your visual effects editor and go all the way up to spawn and here you can set the spawn rate. At the moment it is set to 5 but I will change this to 8 to have more particles on the screen. And here you can play around yeah, how strong your snowfall should be on the screen. You can also change here the um, lifetime of your particles when you for example set the gravity um, lower to let's say minus two and the snow is falling really really slow and when one particle is longer than six seconds on the screen it will disappear so to change this you can set here the lifetime higher for example to eight seconds so they will stay longer so yeah i think this looks pretty good for a simple snow effect here in Effect House. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel, it would be nice if you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!